I praise God. We're on. Well, yeah. happy Sunday morning, everyone, and happy New Year. Feliz Domingo por la mañana y feliz año nuevo. Amen. So welcome everybody to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. And uh, all I want you to do and all he wants you to do and God wants you to do is prepare yourself to receive. Because yes. he's got something for you. You know, yeah. quit, quit passing it up. Oh. You know, <clears throat> one thing we need to do is get uh, leave in the past and excuses. Because uh -huh. <laughs> there's so many excuses. Yes. Just think about it. If you're God. Uh -huh. How many excuses you've heard? Oh, I promise goodness. I'll be there. You know how many people walk up to me and say, "Hey, Pastor, <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'm gonna be at church this coming Sunday." Uh -huh. <laughs> how many excuses we've used? Amen. It's time to, to let it go. Amen. So yeah. prepare yourselves to receive. God yeah. has a great message for you, mm -hmm. and He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. You know, nowadays even in the church, uh, we let the word conviction. Or correction, uh, we we misinterpret that as offended. <laughs> we gotta be careful when God wants to correct you. Mm -hmm. Allow Him to correct Amen. because He knows your destiny. Yeah. He knows your plan. He knows your yeah. your your, your mission. Uh -huh. And you know we gotta rely on Him yeah. to guide us. Amen. Yes. Teach us, lead us, and guide us Amen. into all these things. You know, but when uh, when we get uh, offended, we just close ourselves. All right. Because I'm talking to Christians now. Mm. <laughs> I'm talking to believers. You know, you got to let the word of God correct you if yeah. there's correction needed, you know. Yes. But if you know you're in the wrong or you're in sin, <laughs> you're going to be offended and then you're going to close yourself. He says, I'm knocking, but you don't let, you're, you're not letting me in. Yeah. Amen. We got to be willing to be corrected. Amen. Oh. I am letting you know mm -hmm. I can be corrected and I've been corrected many times. You can come up to you and say, Pastor, you said this scripture was wrong, or this was wrong, or you're doing this wrong. Let me know. Amen? So praise God. And if, but if God does it, be willing to be corrected. Amen? Amen. No one's perfect but him. So guess what? <laughs> we can use some correction. Amen? I said all that to, to say this. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Amen. Look at here. I've been studying. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me real smart. I'm <laughs> around with a big Bible there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise anyway, God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for us, you know. Yeah. Just like when uh, uh, every, uh, we have our uh, our fellowship, you know, it's nice, nice, nice table set before us, and you can smell all that good food, oh, and God, God is preparing something for us, yes. and he wants to just give it to us. Amen. Yeah. So it's up to you to receive it. Yeah. Amen. So get yourself ready. This and grab your Bibles, yes. child of God, yes. and say it like a meaning. Yeah. Amen. This is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I, I can do what it says I can do. Today yeah. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I've told you this many, many, many times. And I'm going to tell you again, Amen. the enemy, we fight a spiritual battle, uh -huh. and the enemy attacks the mind, oh, yeah. amen? So there's a lot of things going there, but you know, when you come or when you go to spend time with, with him on a, on a daily basis, uh, just clear your mind. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know you got... Oh, you know, hey, the Cowboys play today. Oh, really? No, they lost. <laughs> they wish. <laughs> I'm just saying, you got so many priorities. Oh, boy. That you don't have Jesus on the top of your priority list. Oh, boy. And you got so many things going on. Oh. You know, just clear your mind, spend uh -huh. time with him, and let him bless you. Yeah. Amen. And guide you into what you've got to do. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what we need to do on a daily basis. Yeah. Is, is get before him clear our minds and get right mm -hmm. because the enemy attacks the mind he puts thoughts there and you get so uh, overwhelmed with things going on mm -hmm. that you don't have time for, for the Lord to, to say anything mm -hmm. and if he's trying to say something you won't let him mm -hmm. amen so it is a spiritual battle that you fight on a daily basis yes. and the only way to overcome that is by getting the word, renewing yes. uh, your mind with the word of God, yes. feeding your spirit the word of God, growing and going for God. Amen. So it's another year. 
It's another year to, to, to grow in the word and mature in the word. Amen. And go for Jesus. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Happy New Year. Keep going. We got some good things for you. Happy New Year. A new year is about to unfold with new opportunities to explore. Right. Doors will be open for new experiences, new adventures with the Lord. Remember, not the former things, the things of, of this past year. The Lord will do new things in us much more than we can uh, are aware. Right. Amen. He wants right. to do these things for us. Amen. Mm -hmm. But we just got to let go of the past because the past will hold you back. And the enemy is going to see to it, and he's going to use people to remember. You know what? You didn't accomplish anything for no. most of the things you said last year. And you're going to be bogged down. Say, man, you're going to be feel, feeling bad about yourself. You know what? It's a new, new year, yeah, so it's yeah. time to, you know what? Yeah. Press on even with the things that I didn't do. Mm -hmm. I can put them on my list and complete. Go ahead, go ahead. Here's another one. May God be with you through the new year and fill your life with comfort, love, and cheer. <laughs> yeah. May this day and the days ahead hold many blessings for you and yours. Happy New Year. Amen. You know, remember, you're a child of God. You're on the winning side. <laughs> yes. Amen. And he wants us to win. Amen. Defeat and losing is not for God's children. Mm. But we've accepted it. Amen. So it's time that you... Make a attitude adjustment no more. and make a winning attitude adjustment for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know that you're God's child and you're on a winning team, mm -hmm. not on a losing team. Amen. Mm -hmm. And yeah. don't accept that from the world mm -hmm. and don't accept that from nobody else. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the way it's always going to be. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. We're going to change. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep going. Yeah. Hallelujah. <coughs> and this is our text. We'll just leave it right there. Amen. Oh, boy. Praise God. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll read it to you. Or you can follow along in your Bible and your yeah. translation, because we have so many translations, yeah. mostly. So, opening the new year with a bang. We talked about this last week. Opening the new, the new year with a bang. What are we talking about, a bang? We're talking about uh, enthusiasm. We're mm -hmm. talking about happiness. We're talking about excitement. Yeah. We're talking about joy. It says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. You know, we can get out there, and I've told you this so many times, we get out there in, in these uh, uh, worldly events, we get out there in these sporting events, and we get out there even when we're at the, <laughs> the bar, <laughs> and we have so many good times, and we jump up and down, and, and we do all kinds of crazy things. We get before God, and we can't do nothing. Mm. Come on now. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. So why not? God has given us another year. Hey, we made it through. Scott told me this morning, hey, we made it through this year. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. So why not be excited? So Philippians uh, chapter 3, verse 12 through 14, from the New uh, Living Bible translation says this. Pressing towards the goal. I don't mean to say that I've already achieved these things or that I've already reached perfection. Mm. But here we go. I press on. Mm -hmm. We're talking about you. You've got something to do. you got to press on. Mm -hmm. Amen. you got to keep yourself charged. Yeah. <laughs> you got to keep yourself energized with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And don't let nothing hold you down. It says, I've got to press <coughs> on. I'm going to be moving. <laughs> he didn't say stop. He said move on. Yes. Amen. To possess the perfection of which Christ Jesus first possessed uh, me. And uh, 13 says, no, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I mm -hmm. focus on this one thing I, I put on there daily. This one thing I focus daily, mm -hmm. forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Yes. We're moving on with him. He's moving us on. Amen. He didn't say stay. He says move on. Yes. Press on. Forward. We're going forward mm -hmm. towards the goal which he has called us. All upward right. to heaven. Amen. So praise God. And 14 says, I press on to reach the end of the race and, and receive the heavenly price for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Amen? So, I'm pressing on. And you know what? I've said it so many times, but I want you to catch it. Mm -hmm. Amen? He talks about the physical body 
and every part in this body being uh, vital, being important, small or big, being on the outside or being on the inside. Every organ, every muscle, every tissue, every part of this body is important. Mm -hmm. So see yourself that way. We are in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We are the body of Christ. We're the church. Yes. And your part is important. He puts you on this. He called you. He equipped you yes. and given you everything that you need to fulfill and be a winner. Yeah. So see yourself important. Don't let the enemy, don't let anyone tell you that you're no good. That's right. How oh, God didn't say these things to you. The, the peop our people do. And the enemy put thoughts in your mind. Mm -hmm. You haven't achieved. You haven't done. And he wants you to quit and wants you to stop. <laughs> and so and so, you know that so and so, everybody knows that so and so. Oh. <laughs> Come and tell you uh -huh. what you've done is bad and God can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You took a seat and you've been sitting all this time. I'm talking to whoever you are watching or listening. <laughs> whoever you are, God called you, approved you. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> if the world hadn't approved you, who cares? God has approved you and called you and put you on this, on this winning mission yes. to fulfill. And it's up to you to say, Lord, I need your strength. How many times you, you read in the Bible where Jesus got away and went and talked to the Father and says, Lord, I need your strength to, to carry me, to help me. Amen? So he says, we need him just as, as much as Jesus needed his Father. We need his strength. Without him, we're nothing. Lord, I need your strength to carry on, to carry me this day. Or whatever, you know. But be with him. Don't give up. And if so-and-so says you're no good, I'm not receiving that. That's it. Get in the Word. Study for yourself. Study to show yourself approved and know what the Word of God says. So when so-and-so or this person or that person comes and tells you you're not good and you're not qualified, the Word of God says you are. Mm -hmm. He says, I equipped you. Yes. I chose you. I put you on this mission. And yes. you're going to fulfill. Lord, I want to fulfill this mission. I don't want to fail you. Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. Ooh, you know how many yes. times Jesus probably wanted to quit, but he didn't. He pressed on. Mm -hmm. He pressed on. And what? He's our greatest example. Amen. We're supposed to imitate him and press on with the things of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So forget the past and press on, winner. Press on, champion. <laughs> Call yourself what the Bible says you are. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're a child of God. You're an overcomer. Yes. Since you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So, you know, forget about what the world's been calling you. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. I'm going to read it to you from the New Living Translation. It says, don't remember the things that have happened before. Do not think about the things of the past. See, I will do a new thing. Yeah. I will begin happenings now. A new day, a new year, a new beginning. That's yeah. me. Will you uh, not know about it? I will even make a road in the wilderness. I will make a river in the desert. Right. Whatever you need, Lord, I'm trusting you. Yeah. It'll happen. Yeah. There's no respect of persons, That's okay? Right. He will do it for you, whatever you yeah. need it. Hey, we talked about this. You ever read about your Bible heroes? <laughs> <laughs> well, next time you say, well, God can't use me because I've done him wrong, because I've sinned. Well, you let me know about all your Bible heroes. Were any of them perfect? Mm -hmm. Did any of them sin? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So guess what? He wants to use you. He put you on this mission. So don't let the world dictate if you're going to serve God or not. I'm going to serve God because I choose. I receive him as my Lord and Savior. And I'm going to press on and fulfill what he's called me to do. Yes. Amen. So he wants to do a new thing through you. Lord, it's a new year. We've got mighty plans to do for God. Amen. So, and uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 also. Keep going. We already read that one. Here we go, St. Corinthians 5, 17. If, if anyone is in Christ, he is yeah. what? Mm -hmm. A new creation. Old things have passed, passed away. away. Behold, all, all things, things have become have new. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people want to keep you in the past. Yeah. The enemy wants to see to it that yeah. you're reminded of your past all the time. But you got to remind yourself. You know, sometimes yeah. you got to stand by yourself and say, 
<laughs> I'm a new creature in Christ. Yes. And people try to bring you back to the old you. And you oh, say, I no longer live there. I'm yeah. a new creature in Christ. Yeah. You had a spiritual birth. Mm -hmm. You were born again. Amen. They can't see you, your spirit side. They can see your flesh. Amen. But they can't see your spiritual birth. Amen. That happened on the inside. Yes. I mean, it, there was a big explosion there. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the old me is gone. The new me is here. Yes. Amen. So... This uh, victorious life, this winning attitude uh -huh. achieved by Jesus and all our Bible heroes uh -huh. is available for us also. Yes. But here's the thing is, it's your choice. Yeah. You can let people pull you down. You can let things bring you down. Uh -huh. You can make excuses all you want. But you have to make a choice and come to it and say, <laughs> yeah. let me read in the Bible where it says that I'm not supposed to succeed that I'm not that I'm a failure no. that I'm a nobody no. it's no it's not in there that's it so you get the word of God in you when you get the word of God in you your faith is going to be built and the yes. fear has to go yes and he says out of your innermost being shall flow rivers yes. of living water mm -hmm. I said wow I couldn't see myself doing that no not as long as you was in fear mm -hmm. and didn't know the truth now the truth is going to set you free yes. from all these things that hold you down yeah Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're called believers. Yes. Not losers. That's right. Or whatever the world wants to call you. Mm. Don't use those names anymore. Mm. <laughs> we, before we go any further, I just want you to know, <laughs> be careful of your words this new year. Mm -hmm. Guard your words. Yes. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 18.21, that death and life are in the power of the tongue mm -hmm. or death and life are in the power of your words mm -hmm. so be careful of the words you speak Amen. we're called believers believe in him believe in his word believe that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you yes. amen, amen. <laughs> all things are possible through him we can experience the same triumphant lifestyle that they experienced yes. amen because he's no respecter of persons. He loves you just like he loved them. It says The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world. For God so loved people. He loved the world that he gave. He sacrificed his only begotten son. Yes, he did. Amen. So you're part of that. And he sacrificed his son for us to have salvation. Salvation is free. Yes, it is. All you got to do is receive it. Yes. Hallelujah. So be encouraged, church, daily. To start every day, every every year, with a winning attitude, yes. a victorious attitude, mm -hmm. a stirred up attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah! You got to get it in you. Amen. Ch uh, check your priorities. Change your priorities. Okay. Spend time with Him. Step out daily, fully charged with a winning attitude. Uh -huh. Amen. You know, <laughs> I won't talk about you, but I'll talk about me. How many times I drug, drug myself out of bed? Mm. Oh my God, it's I did today. Monday. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Tuesday. <laughs> we say all this through Friday, and then Friday we just come alive and say, Hallelujah, thank God it's Friday. <laughs> we should say that from Monday through Sunday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Lord, for this day. He says, This is the day He has given me. Yeah. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You got to change that attitude. Uh -huh. Amen. Because every day is a God given day. Yes. Amen. Well, come on. I'm preaching better than amen in me now. Amen. <laughs> amen. amen. <laughs> stir yourself up. Mm -hmm. It tells us in Timothy to stir ourselves up. Amen. Because yes. you know what? Nobody's going to stir it for you. That's uh, it. <laughs> All right. You know, when you cook something real good? Yeah. When you get that stew going, you know, that soup going? And you're just sitting there. But you know what? Stir it up some. Mm. And all that aroma is going to hit you. Mm. I say, hmm, smells good. Mm. That's you going somewhere to happen for God. You know? <laughs> but you got to stir yourself up. <laughs> Amen. You can't go somewhere with a losing, that losing attitude. All right. And rub off on somebody. Oh, head. my goodness. They're going to walk away from you. Mm -hmm. You go somewhere with a good attitude. You go somewhere with a winning attitude. And you know, sometimes you got to stand alone. Because yeah. all the losers are going to stand over there oh, yeah. and they're going to say, come on, join us. 
And he says, mm -hmm. uh, uh that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand by myself if I have to. Yeah. But I'm going to have a winning attitude. Amen. Yeah. Pretty soon they're going to come join you. Yeah. <laughs> so praise God. Come on. So let that winning attitude uh, let a winning attitude be your new new year resolution. Yeah. And to press on. You know how many times we made these uh, new year resolutions, you know, and and uh, we quit or we stop or we didn't fulfill mm -hmm. or we said we was going to mm -hmm. do or we failed those things mm -hmm. you know why not get in the word and know what the word of God tells you and be what the word of God tells you to be yeah. and then you'll fulfill what God has called you to do amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Woo! part time Christian is uh, cannot defeat a full time devil That's right. we're no match to a full time devil He's going to give his, he's going to give it his all. But you know, the word of God says, he'll take you hot, cold, but not lukewarm. He said, I'll spit you out. So you know, it's time for us to get hot for God. <laughs> I like that, hot for God. Yeah. Amen. Get full, get full, and get stirred up, and get hot for God, amen, and go. And press on yeah. with the things of God. Amen. Lord. Nobody wants to lose. No. Choose to be hot for God. Choose to be hungry for more of Him. We're yeah. just starting off the year. Hey, it's a great time to start reading the Word more. Mm -hmm. But I've already read, read it once or twice. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. You know, go over the same thing and you'll mature and you'll grow from the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. As you go as being obedient to the word of God, mm -hmm. it's going to grow you. Yes. <laughs> it's going to mature you. Yes. <laughs> so, part-time Christians cannot defeat a full-time devil. Mm -hmm. Quit playing church. Uh -huh. Quit trying to fool yourself. Huh. And quit trying, quit the excuses. <laughs> oh, come on now. Amen. He says we're supposed to assemble ourselves together mm. in Hebrews 10, 25. And come together and we're here to hear what God has to say. Yeah, yeah. And we're here also to encourage one another. Uh -huh. I've been praying for you, brother. You've been gone, but I've been praying for you guys. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. And, yeah. and, 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 and just uh, encourage one another. You know, not to look down on each other. Mm -hmm. We always seem to find the wrong before we see the good. Oh, and we always say, you know, those mm -hmm. things. See the good in yeah. everyone. Amen. And just pat them and say, hey, I appreciate you. Thank yeah. you. Be, listen, be committed. Yeah. Be committed. Be submitted. Mm. Be available. Yeah. Be flexible. And be changeable. Oh, Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. So be <laughs> submitted. Be committed. <laughs> be available. Yeah, you know, he right. says he wants you. Mm -hmm. I know who I can send. Yes. This this person, that person. Mm -hmm. I know who I can send. He knows you. Hey, you know me, Lord. You got something for me? I'm right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's Brother Dusty. <laughs> Lord gave him a mission. <laughs> Why? He made himself available. You make yourself available. God was going to use you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Who called you? He did. Mm -hmm. Now, Lord, I'm making myself available. Amen. I'm making myself available. He'll put things around you, bring people around you to fulfill whatever mission he gives you. Uh -huh. He's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. You know, as you get full of the word, you step out in faith, mm -hmm. knowing that God is with you. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. You, praise God, praise God, praise God. So, <laughs> be submitted, committed, be available, be flexible, right. and be willing to change. Ah, if he corrects us, let's, you know, you, you know, you was kind of going off the side there a little mm -hmm. ways, to the left and to the right. But, you know, he's corrected us, yeah. and now we're back on course. Amen. Amen. Uh, God's our, uh, he had GPS before, we're going to come up with GPS, you know. <laughs> he's got the Holy Spirit in us, you know. <laughs> he said, hey, wait a minute, you're going off the ditch here. You're going off that way. Get back in line. Mm -hmm. First John 4, 4. In the uh, easy to read version, it says, My dear brothers, you belong yes. to me. Yeah, yeah. God is saying, you belong to me. Yeah. So you have, uh, have already 
have defeated or overcome these false prophets of the world. Uh -huh. That because the one who is in you mm -hmm. is greater than the one that is in the world. Let's read, let's read that in the uh, in the King James. Yeah. First John four four. Mm -hmm. Amen. First John, we know where the first John is, right? Before second John. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. 1 John 4 4. Uh -huh. Are you there? Yes. <laughs> now you need to know this. <laughs> says, Ye are of God, little children. Uh -huh. He calls us his children. So quit going around calling yourself a loser. That's quit right. going around calling yourself a sinner. Mm. Since you was born again. You're a child of God. Yeah. And now you're a child of God. You're uh, his, his child. Yeah. So quit calling yourself mm -hmm. things that he's not calling you. Yeah. Amen. It says that's before. I'm a new creature in Christ now. I'm a child of God. It says you're of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than yeah. he that is in the world. Yes. Anywhere you go, Lord is with me. He never leaves me, don't forsakes me. And he is with me because the word of God says he is with me. Amen. So it doesn't matter if you're on the mountain, he's still God. If you're in the valley, he's still God. Not only God, but he's a big God. Amen. He's a big God. Hallelujah. <laughs> one who is in you is greater, bigger than the one who is in the world. Bigger than any giant problems you're facing. Bigger than any storms of life that might be coming against you. Mm -hmm. Bigger than all any cares coming against you. Bigger than any failures. Bigger than any setbacks. Bigger than any addictions mm -hmm. or any bad habits. Yes. My God is bigger than any mountain of a problem or anything that you may be facing. Mm -hmm. He's bigger. Yes. But you know what? We got to get him in us. So we can start believing in him yes. and moving with what his word says. Yes, thank you, Lord. If you're not, you're just going to be in the idol. And we don't want to start a year in idol. I told you this before. We want to start with a bang. We want to start yes. with excitement. We want to yes. start with enthusiasm. We want to start with, with joy. Yes. We want to start with happiness. Yes. This is what my God is about. Oh, God. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And here's First Peter 5, 7 says what? Given, casting all unto him. Yeah. Amen. First Peter. Let's go to First Peter. First Peter. Amen. It's right before Second Peter. <laughs> yeah. First Peter five seven. <clears throat> well, let's read uh, First Peter five seven and eight. <laughs> Casting. You know when you cast something, yeah. you just don't set it. Cast means throw. Yeah. Throw these things. Amen. It says, verse 7 says, casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Yeah. We got lots of cares. We got to give it back to him. Mm -hmm. He said, don't carry these things. Give it to me mm -hmm. on a daily basis or whatever, yeah. as often as you want to do. Yes. But you got to cast it on him because these yeah. things are going to attach themselves to you. Yeah. But you got to let them go. It says, cast these things on me because I love you, because I care for you. And verse uh, 8 says this, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who he may devour. Yeah. <laughs> so the devil, you know what his mission is? Steal, mm -hmm. kill, kill, destroy. First John 10.10. 10. Yeah. But Jesus says, I came that you might have life. And have it more abundantly. Yes. Still, he says he go about seeking who he may devour. Right. We're talking about believers here. Yes. We're talking about Christians. <laughs> That's why it's so important to renew your mind. Yes. Because, and guard your words, mm -hmm. because he goes around following you <laughs> <laughs> to see oh. what comes out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Because your words are seed. And those mm -hmm. seeds are planted. Mm -hmm. And will, he hears you. And when you say something negative no, and you say wrong things, yeah. you open a door for the enemy yes. to come in. Uh -huh. I say, how did they get in me? Mm. How did this happen? 
Mm -hmm. Ah, you think. Mm -hmm. I said the wrong thing. Mm. I said, Laura, take it back. Mm. Laura, you know, just get cleansed. Ask the Lord to, you know, forgive. Don't forget. Amen. But get it right. Yes. And renew your mind with the word of God so you don't just go around shooting words everywhere you go. Yes. Amen. Death and life are the power of your words. Mm -hmm. Words are seeds that we go around plant and plant. Mm -hmm. And when you plant a seed, it grows. Mm. Okay? It grows in you, not yes. in someone else. It grows in you. Lord. So we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want those things in us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Philippians uh, 4 and 6 says, Do not worry. Do not be anxious yeah. about anything. But pray and ask God for everything you need. Mm -hmm. Or make your request known to God. Yes. Always giving thanks. Amen. That's Philippians 4, 6 in the expanded Bible. So don't worry. Don't be anxious. Don't, mm -hmm. don't worry about these things. Give it to Him. Don't, Amen. don't try to carry it yourself. Give it unto Him. Amen. Yes. He cares for you. He puts you on a winning mission. Yes. And you're not going to fulfill your mission if you're weighed down with all these cares, with all these worries, and anxious about these things. So just give it to Him. Hallelujah. Yeah. He is a big God. We're talking about he's a big God. He's a big God on the mountain. He's a big God in the valley. Mm -hmm. Or whatever you may be going through. Mm. Also know this. He's a big God that never leaves you nor forsakes you. Yes. yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I've told you this story many times, but when little David went to bring lunch to his brothers, they were fighting against the Philistines. And the Philistines had this big giant, Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, David, the little guy, he saw the giant, and he's ready to fight him because he knew his God. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to know our God. Yes. And we know He said, when I went against the bear, when I went against the lion, God saw God saw me. God 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 delivered me. Mm -hmm. And God will deliver you from whatever giant is you're facing. Yes. Amen. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening. Yes. Whatever giants you're going through, mm. God will deliver you. It's time to stop fighting those battles by yourself. He's already defeated yes. the enemy. He's a defeated foe. All you need to do is get in the word of God, study it for yourself, so that you know who you are in Christ mm -hmm. and start using that authority he's given you. Yes. Amen. That's where we're going next. Anyway, Hebrews uh, 3, uh, 3, uh, 13, uh, 5. Hebrews 13, 5, in the New King James says, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Yeah. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah. He's always with you. Mm -hmm. You know, of those of you that are listening, those of you that are hearing, listening, and are watching, mm -hmm. you always, the enemy always tries to trick you to think, that you're always by yourself. Mm -mm. If you don't have Christ in your life, now's the time to say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Because every battle you face now is His, and God is with you. Yes. So you're never by yourself. That's and it. that's one thing the enemy always tries to use against you. You're by yourself. Oh. He tries to put you down, isolate oh. you, so that you're by yourself. Mm -mm. You're never by yourself with, with Christ. That's He's right. always with you. He says, I'll yeah. never leave you, and I'll never forsake you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's, That's uh, Hebrews 13, 5. Yeah. In Deuteronomy 30, uh, 31, 6, he says, be strong. Be of good courage. Oh. Do not fear. Do not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. Mm -hmm. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Yes. He says... <laughs> Be strong, be of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them. Mm -hmm. For the Lord your God, he is the one that goes with you. Yes. He is with you. Since Jesus came and gave his life, mm. he rose. But then he says, I am leaving, but I'm going to leave the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit came. And the Bible says that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So he is with us yes, he is. at all times. Amen. Yes. Thank you. So remember this. <laughs> the word here uh, they used uh, forsake. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. Forsake 
in case you forgot, but it means I will never abandon you. Yes. I will never reject you. Oh, I will never Lord. desert you. I will never leave you. I will never disown you. I will never ditch you or oh, cast Lord. you away. <laughs> he's always with us. Amen. We need to know these things. Mm -hmm. That he's always with us. Amen. Yes, he never yes. will abandon us. Thank you, Lord. God sacrificed his son yes. so that he could come and be with us. Amen. Amen. So that we don't have to feel abandoned anymore. So that we don't have to be feel uh, uh, rejected, yeah. deserted, yeah. or leave, or disowned. See, these are some of the things the enemy uses against uh -huh. you. It makes you feel this way. Yeah. So, as I press on daily, know that I will not fear no one because of 2 Timothy 2.7. 2, 7. Mm -hmm. And 2 Timothy 2.7 says, For God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, power. of love, power. and of a sound oh, mind. My. Let's go, let's go there. And we're not going to finish this message today. we got all, right. all this month to go over this message. Yeah. <laughs> all year. All year, yeah. we got all year. And... Uh, those of you uh, watching, those of you listening, we do teach from the Word of God. Amen. So, and uh, if you have your Bible, just dust it off, take it out, <laughs> and join us. Uh, we're going to. Uh, what scripture was that? Second Timothy one seven. Timothy one. It's right after First Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, what is it? First, the verse. Second Timothy. Yeah. One, seven, oh, uh, no wonder I'm in first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Second Timothy, chapter one and verse seven says, "For God has not given us a spirit of fear, so, but of power, and of love, and of." Sound mind. Amen. So, his spirit is a source of power, a source of love, and a source of self control. That's what sound mind in some translation says of self control. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm just, just going to read this to you and uh, we'll be closing. Amen. Yeah. That's my first close. <laughs> Fear. <laughs> if you never heard this before, Fear is false oh, evidence really, appearing really real. real. Amen. But he wants us to walk in faith. What is faith? Faith is for everything, for everything, I trust him. Mm -hmm. For everything, I trust him. That's what faith is. Mm -hmm. So whatever, <laughs> just as a believer, know that you can trust him for everything. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're talking about believers now. Do problems and circumstances talk to you? Remember, we're talking about the mind. And you have these thoughts. <laughs> and if you haven't renewed your mind, the negative thoughts are going to come. Yes. Even if you, if you are born again, <laughs> the thoughts are going to come, good or bad. Because yeah. the devil bombards you, your mind daily. Yeah. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle. Yeah. And if you're not in the Word of God, you cannot defeat a spiritual battle. Right. You got to use the word of God Amen. to defeat a spiritual battle. Amen. That's why it's so important. You feed yourself, the, your spirit, the word of God. Renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. And crucify your flesh. That's what the Bible tells us. Don't let them uh, talk to you. <laughs> use your God-given authority. Cancel their assignments and send them back packing. Amen. So don't receive it. Just because it comes doesn't mean that you have to do it. Right. The enemy can put thoughts there, but you don't have to fulfill those thoughts. Amen. You can just cancel it and say, press delete. I'm not going to do that. I'm not giving it no thoughts. I'm canceling that. I'm using my, use your authority. You have authority. Use it. Get rid of the, all the negative stuff and stop living or stop having a losing attitude. Okay? Yeah. You're a winner. You're a champion. 
Make God glad and the devil mad. Mm -hmm. So change your attitude and have a winning attitude. Amen. So we're going to stop there and uh, we're going to pick that up on, uh, on our next. Amen. So mm -hmm. remember that you're a child of God. Carmen, keep going. A few more. We have so, so many good ones. We used this last week, but I want you to accept your past without regrets. Mm -hmm. Handle your presence with confidence. And you can face your future without fear. Mm. Amen. Keep going. We talked about this. Never be a, a prisoner of your past. Yeah. It was a lesson and not a life sentence. Huh. Some of some people live a whole life sentence in the past. Huh. You know, enemy hold this against them. Amen. Keep going. You know, have the attitude of Paul and Silas when they were in prison. And they started singing praises unto the Lord. The Lord delivered them. Amen. Yes, he did. So praise God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't judge me by my past. I don't live there anymore. Keep no. going. Oh, I like this one. Matthew 7, 15 and 16. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. Mm. But inwardly, they are raving bulls. Mm. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns? Or figs, or thistles, or thistles. Keep going. Here's, he's getting dressed. <laughs> Beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. <laughs> he's putting on his sheep uh, costume. Uh -huh. <laughs> there we go. We'll stop right here. Okay, God has big plans for you. When you have, when you're a Christian, when you're a believer, God has big plans for you. Yes. And you got to see, see yourself this way. He has great plans for you. And we're going to be studying uh, Jeremiah 29 11 where he says, I have plans for you. Mm -hmm. And that's every one of us, every mm -hmm. believer. Mm -hmm. right. If you've given it up, it's time that you dust your Bible, open it up, yeah. and start reading it again. Yeah. And know that God has big plans for you. Why did you stop? You shouldn't have stopped. You know, some person told you to stop enemy told you to stop, it's time you pick yourself up. Forget about the setbacks. Forget about the mistakes. Forget about the failures. It's time you're a new creature in Christ. You got to get up, dust yourself off, and press on with the things of God. Amen. He never gave you up. We talked about this also. Peter was ready to fight for Jesus when they come to get him. Jesus says, before the cock crows three times, you will, before the cock crow, he says, you will deny me three times. And you know what? When the cock crowed the third time, mm -hmm. Peter turned and looked at Jesus. And Jesus looked at him. He didn't say anything, but he, his word was fulfilled. Now, Jesus didn't give up on him. Jesus used him mightily to preach yeah. too great. Mm -hmm. uh, messages that brought many into the kingdom of God. So Jesus will never give up on you. As a matter of fact, he's gifted you and put gifts in you. And he says, I'll never take them back. All you need to do is have a relationship, find out what those gifts are so that you can start using that for the kingdom of God. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. I'll close there. So all those of you that are watching and listening, I just want you to know this is the start of a new year. If you never accepted Christ, now is the time. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've done you wrong. I repent. I've sinned against you. I repent of my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And start living a life for, for Christ. Amen. Start fulfilling what he wants you to do. Also, get in a Bible-based church where they teach from the Word of God. Amen. So praise God. Thank you. Yes. Thanks, Pastor. I hope